Welcome back. So today we're going to do a casual cables in 4K, and I wanted to hit a couple topics. One is sort of the origin of Zsin, Z-I-S-I-N, who is this guy over here. And then we'll kind of run through and introduce you to some of my twisted friends over here and why I kind of like the that style. But So let's start with who is Z-I-S-I-N? And the short answer is this. They are IVIPQ. So probably a couple months ago, IVIPQ... Uh, sent me a message and said, hey, we're starting this new brand. Are you interested in seeing one of the first cables of the, kind of the initial set that they're going to release at launch? And I said, sure. And that happened to be there, what they call Z-I-S-I-N-7. They also call it God Dominator. So this one is actually a pretty nice one. It's a 7N OCC, gold-plated strand with a silver-plated palladium core, and it's got a bunch of strands to it. So it is an 8-core, and it is very nice. And I think I would consider Z-I-S-I-N the purple brother of IVIPQ. It is, it's literally the same person running both. So if you were dealing with IVIPQ before, don't feel like you are cheating by looking at Z-I-S-I-N. Z-I-S-I-N. It's literally the same person. So this is 07, and if we get a close enough look at it, you can, you can see the gold strand that's actually running through it. So pretty cool. You get silver plated and gold plated and this kind of purple overtone to it with some fancy hardware. So I didn't want to go too hardcore into that cable. I just wanted to explain the origin of IVIPQ and specifically the IVIPQ 03 store is the same person who runs Z-I-S-I-N, Z-I-S-I-N, and he's going to do other brands as well. But this will be the first one, and as we approach the launch of his store, which he is sort of timing it along with AliExpress's anniversary sale and the spring sale. So in the next week or so, I'll probably talk about something on Facebook and see what promotions he's got. He's got some other things that are going to pop up, but um, purple seems to be his thing on this store. So a lot of purple themes if you actually go look at it. But uh, again, it's who are they? They are essentially the same person, just a different branding on what they've been doing with IVIPQ. And he sent this one early. I think the only branding that I actually have on this one was right here. So you can see the, the screen printing of Zsin, but I didn't have the the Velcro and the case itself were, uh, were generic at the time because I don't think he has them done. I think now there's new packaging. So that is that one. So these are my twisted friends. And I, and I call this one almost the the original twisted one. And this one goes back to a long time. There was a Yinyu cable that was very popular on AliExpress. It, it, it was a, I think it was a 5N UPOCC cable and it was twisted and it looked just like this, but didn't have this hardware. This is my custom version that I had done by XINHS. So he also made the Yinyu cables and he put a special uh, 90 degree cable, 90 degree um, 3.5 on it for me but this is what I would call the original the twisted one that was sort of cut my cut my fancy for twisted cables and you can kind of see you know that twist right there so it's twisted all the way through and if we pull this off I, I just think that twisted cables tend to feel a little bit differently they tend to be a little bit maybe more ropey than that or maybe some more similar to the old 8 core and 16 cores so where four cores can get a little bit stiff and a little bit more springy, by twisting them, they tend to be a little bit more ropey. And I think if we kind of do this, you can sort of see it. It, it kind of lays and, and kind of springs back in the way that's kind of more, more flexible and soft as opposed to some of the braided ones, which have some internal you know, stiffness to them. So I've always liked the twisted. I like the look of the twisted. This one used to be... So the Yinyu cable on AliExpress used to be about $60. It would drop down to $30. People would buy it at $30. It would go back up to $60, and then people would wait. And then it sort of came out that XINHS was actually the one behind making their cables. So then people started buying the custom versions, and this is a custom version of it that you see here. But um, very popular UPOCC cable. It's been around for a long time. I used to have a few of them, and... And this is the, the easiest one that I found. So a little while ago, Z-I-S-I-Z-I-S-I-N, and this isn't the one 
um, not this is the Zeeson version. There was an IVIPQ version called IVIPQ 527. So that one went on promotion, and as soon as I saw it, I said, wow, it's going to be the brother of this one. It's just played it differently. And you can see, and I wanted to actually put those in, have those in place for a reason. So color-wise, IVIPQ 527 or Zeeson 14. 14 is essentially what I, I actually bought 527 and had them put on the L-shaped modular. Zeeson actually listed that version on their new store under Zeeson, so that's it's actually called Zeeson 14. But my original one actually came from IVIPQ, and I just had them put the modular on it, but Zeeson sells it in modular format um, with the price built into it. So that was super convenient. But what I wanted to kind of point out was the color of it and the gunmetal color of it. So this is copper brown, gunmetal. This is what typical SPC would look like, bright, shiny SPC. Silver plated, copper tends to look just like this, nice and shiny. When you see it next to gunmetal, you can kind of see it's more of a grayish as opposed to the bright silverish. So same thing, this is MP145, which tends to be a little bit kind of more silver aluminum color. This is EA500LM, which is closer to gunmetal color. So it's a pretty fascinating. So one, it's almost, I think it's the same material internally. I think it's still UPOCC, but just plated in gunmetal, which is actually not as easy to find as you're thinking it is. It's pretty rare to actually find a real gunmetal colored cable. There used to be an old blonde cable that was gunmetal to match one of the old blonde, because the old blonde BL03, I think actually came in gunmetal as well, or one of them came in gunmetal. So it was actually pretty cool back at the time to have a gunmetal cable. So now we have another one. This one is, again, Zeeson 14 or IVIPQ 527 in gunmetal. So pretty cool. Um... As I said, as soon as I saw it, I sort of knew it was going to be the brother of this one. And, and originally, the price on this one was about the same as the same $30. Um, cost a little bit more to put the modular on it. And then now the Zeeson 14 one is essentially that price built into it. So this is another one. This was an older. The rest of these we'll kind of go through quickly. But this is uh, an older IVIPQ. They used to call this one a flagship, a flagship version. And this one was the silver foil version. So this SPC with silver foil, you can kind of see that, that silver foil wrap in there. It's becoming a popular style. Simgo actually put out a two-core cable that looks just like this one. But this one is, again, this is what what twisted uh, weaving looks like. When, when IVIPQ says this twisted weaving, this is exactly kind of, it's this twist, this twist. This is what it looks like twisted. So pretty cool. Uh, as I said, I'm a, kind of a fan of how they lay in your hand and, and just kind of the internal structure of, of the twisted. So it doesn't cost you any, any more money or less money. It's just a different style than you, you may be typically used to from stock cable. So this one was an expensive one at the time. It was a flagship one. So now it's, I think, a little bit cheaper. But at the time, it was actually a pretty expensive one. And here you can kind of see what more – these are even thicker versions of twisted weaving. So this one – these are – these are actually quite old ones, so I'll have links to them. But, you know, pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see a big, thick, twisted, solid green with kind of a metallic sheen to it. And then this is more of a gold style. And gold wasn't really my thing, but I'm almost positive that IVIPQ back in the day ran a promo and said, buy one cable and get the other one. And uh, this was the other one because I'm not really a fan of gold. It looks pretty good, but uh, I actually prefer the green. So the green was another, I think it was a palladium plated one. It's actually a pretty nice 7N OCC style cable um, in green. So I think it's maybe my only green colored cable. So I thought that it was actually a pretty cool one and it was probably on promo as well. So there you go. That was a kind of a casual chat on some of the why we have a Zeeson. Purple is going to be their thing in the short term. IVIPQ 527 in gunmetal, which is a bit unique, or Zeeson 14 in gunmetal. Then the rest of them just kind of uh, to show you what twisted versions look like. So thank you guys again for tuning in, and I will see you next time.